Today on Platt's Energy Week, new worries over the U.S. power grid. Are rogue nations eyeing an attack? Then financing energy infrastructure, one leading company's bid to minimize risk. But first, a new government in Iran aims to put its oil back on the map. You're watching Platt's Energy Week, connecting policy, markets, and trends. Hello, I'm Bill Loveless, and welcome to Platt's Energy Week. U.S. and European sanctions continue to severely limit Iran's oil exports. But that's not stopping Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, from trying to rebuild his nation's oil sector. And the man he's chosen to lead that effort is Bijan Zengana, Tehran's new oil minister. Zengane is no stranger to the oil industry. He held the same job from 1997 to 2005 when Iran's oil production surged. But those were different times when tensions between Iran and the West were much lower. My guest is Sara Vakshuri, who worked under Zengane during his last stint in the government and now runs a Washington consultancy. Welcome back to the program, Sara. Thank you. Sarah, much is being made of Bijan Zengane and his appointment earlier this month. Who is he and, and why is his selection considered significant? Well, Bijan Zengane's resume is as long as the Islamic Republic. Since the day one he was active, he has been minister for the last, uh, for 22 years total. And actually he has a title of uh, Sheikh al Wazara or Sheikh of Ministers. Uh, Sheikh of Ministers. Sheikh of Ministers, yes, or Master of Ministers. Uh, he's a very pragmatic person. He has an engineering background. and. Wherever he ha where was serving as a minister in different capacity, he has a record of re turning the limitation into opportunity. He had done a lot in uh, the Ministry of Energy when he was there uh, from 88 to 1997, which he uh, left the Ministry of Petroleum. He rebuilt the Iranian energy and power sector. He could rehabilitate, uh, rehabilitate and reconstruct the uh, dams and electrical grids that uh, have been damaged during the war with Iraq. Uh, so the time he left, the problem of power outage in Iran was solved almost. Well, you you know you worked for the National Iranian Oil Company from 19, or, I'm sorry, from 2004 to 2005 when Zengane last was Iran's oil minister. How has Iran's oil sector changed since then? It changed significantly. Actually, uh, during the time that Zangina was the minister, the Iranian oil production hit the highest since the uh, 1979 revolution. Uh, at some point in 2005, the Iranian oil production reached to about 4 million barrels a day. I guess, yeah, I think it was around 4, uh, 4 million 200 uh, uh, thousand barrels uh, a day. And it's about 2.5 million barrels a day right now? Right now, because Iran cannot sell the excess production, so they had to reduce their production. Uh, but Iran's production capacity, even if there is no sanction, is around 3.7 uh, million uh, barrels a day, whereas during Zangana was uh, about 4 uh, million barrels a day. So still the production capacity has decreased, even though, uh, even if we consider we don't have any sanctions. The U.S. and the European Union have these uh, harsh sanctions or tough sanctions uh, on, the, on the nation. So how does, he, how does he help Iran dig out of it? He set a goal of four million barrels uh, per day of production. That, that sounds, uh, some might say, that's a pipe dream. Well, considering all these tough sanctions that Iran cannot get really, cannot have access to uh, investment and technology, also cannot sell its maximum capacity of production to earn money enough, that sounds, yes, a bit tough for him, but he doesn't talk about increasing the production per se, but production capacity. And that was Iran's plan since uh, during his time when he was uh, the minister to increase Iranian recovery factor, uh, oil production recovery factor for one person. And this one person makes a big difference because currently the normal recovery factor for normal oil well is between 35 to 45 percent, but Iran is under 20 percent. And more than 80 percent of Iranian oil wells are in their second half of life, their second half of their life. And they really need, um, if it's in reinjection of gas, water injection, or other methods to uh, increase the uh, recovery factor from these oil wells. So it's a matter of increasing the capacity, not necessarily increasing the production. Yes. And, and of course, the experts, which would be tough to do. Uh, Zengane acknowledges that the increase won't happen immediately. Uh, because of the sanctions, uh, th that's according to the Iranian uh, news agency. But he said stable production capacity is necessary under any circumstances to benefit domestic needs. 
in Iran. How important has that become? Well, Iran is increasing its refinery capacity. The time that he was the minister, the refinery capacity of Iran was around 1.5 million barrels a day. Now it's around 1.8 million, ba million barrels a day. This means that they can refine more crude oil uh, domestically. But also if Iran has higher uh, production capacity, it will have uh, more influence in the OPEC. Gets to another point that I'm very curious about. And, and you have an excellent article, by the way, in Thank the you. Atlantic Council's website right now that's uh, just uh, been published. Zengane told the Tehran Times that uh, he would revive energy diplomacy to lessen the sanctions and increase oil exports. What did he mean by that? Well, oil was always a tool of diplomacy in Iran because Iran has huge resource, reserves and resources of oil and gas. And uh, we should remember that it was during Zangane that Iran was targeted by ILSA sanction, Iran-Libya Sanction Act, which now not anymore is uh, on Libya, but is still going on on Iran. Zangane, with the hand of oil diplomacy, he could break these sanctions and he could attract $15 billion of investment into Iranian oil industry. Total of France was the first company coming to Iran investing in Serie A and A E uh, f uh, fields um, and develop uh, in the upstream level. And after that, following by Total, were other major oil companies ex except for American to coming to Iranian oil in, uh, industry and invest. So this is what he always had in mind, to use the oil and the opportunity they give to other companies. They recently reduced production sharing system, which is make Iranian oil industry investment in this industry more attractive because previously Iran was having buyback contracts, which are not very attractive and very common in investing in upstream uh, of oil industry. Also, Iran always, always use its oil industry to increase its deterrence. You know, th this is interesting what, what the potential is, but I think at the end of the day it comes down to, you know, what is the potential here for some sort of rapprochement between Iran and the West? I mean, and, maybe, and that gets to uh, the, the new president Rouhani's uh, election. I mean, is he, uh, is, he got, is it more likely to be some sort of rapprochement which may lead to ease on, easing of these sanctions under this new government? Well, I mean, whatever happened since all the debate that he had during his candidacy and the team he has been uh, chosen for his administration, they all indicate that he has a different rhetorical style and diplomacy and different approach toward the negotiations. And they're hoping that they can have this uh, positive deal and relation with the U.S. and we, uh, West. And Supreme Leader, actually, in my opinion, is also supportive of this uh, Rouhani and his team. Just going back to the time of uh, before the election, the, the candidate, candidate debate, um, Velayati, who is the top advisor of Supreme Leader in International Affairs, he severely criticized uh, Jalili, the previous chief uh, negoti nuclear negotiator, and uh, the diplomacy he, he and his team had. So the way that he was, uh, he was criticizing him and um, uh, the way that he was talking that if he's going to be president, he's going to choose a different diplomacy and rhetoric toward uh, nuclear uh, negotiations and uh, relation with the West totally uh, brings this uh, thought to my mind that Supreme Leader, he himself is supportive of a positive approach uh, and different diplomacy that Rohan and his team uh, are uh, uh, having uh, in compared to the previous president. Still remains such a pivotal country uh, in terms of uh, U.S.-West relations as well as oil supplies and a whole lot of other reasons. Sara Vaksuri is a consultant here in Washington. Thank you very much. Thank you.